This is the Eucalyptus. What's up everybody? It's Phil again from Minimalist. This is our third video tour and this is our fourth tiny house. The Acacia was our fifth tiny house. We, we kind of released the fifth before the fourth. Anyway, this is the fourth one and uh, this is the Eucalyptus. This is a 28 foot tiny house for uh, design for the, the California coast. It's for some customer in California. Uh, this one was pretty much our most complex project ever mainly because uh, the fact this one is off the grid uh, which means it works uh, it's totally self-sufficient in electricity there is a big solar power system on it so um, this is kind of why this was very complex because there is no compromise about anything on this tiny house. The customer didn't want to, uh, they still wanted to have like a dishwasher in their tiny house. They still wanted to have a washer dryer and the customer have kind of a big 60 inch LED screen. So this house needs a lot of electricity to work. It needs a very big and efficient system. Let's start with the exterior. This is still Cedar white cedar. It's kind of an option we have, but every customer kind of choose this option. We're now in the, uh, on the other side of the tiny house. I just wanted to show you guys those big windows we have. This design is still very different than any other tiny house we did first. So we're very proud of how it came out. Uh, I'm always very proud. You see, uh, you kind of used to hear me about it. I love every, everything we do and I love to say it. So I'll keep saying it. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is even if this house is designed for the California coast, uh, the customer told us it is still possible they move up north someday, uh, somewhere like New Jersey. So this, de this design is still four season, which means the, the customer could live where it's very cold and they could even sell the house if they have to sell it to someone who needs full insulation. So it's very well insulated. Now, this is the most complex part and uh, it's, it looks very simple, but it's not, it's not simple at all. We, we really wanted to make, uh, this is the utility box. That's where the solar power system is. And it's a very big system. There is a lot of batteries and stuff in, it, in there. And the thing is, we wanted to make it uh, the most compact possible. So um, we did it again, uh, but not on the first try. <laughs> this is, uh, I'm so proud of this. Uh, when I think, when I see this, I'm like, I think about me when I was so young and it feels like a spaceship. Like it's, it looks like it's been uh, in the space. I mean, look at that. Ta -da! So in there, this is a two kilowatt system. There is eight batteries. Uh, it's eight 400 uh, amp hours batteries. This is a 4,000 watts inverter. And I'm not gonna go so much in details about it. I may be uh, writing a blog post about it or something, but if I talk too much, the video is gonna be too long. But anyway, this is what makes uh, the electricity system works. It works itself and it's good for at least 10 years. Those are AGM batteries. The AGM pretty much means there is no maintenance on those batteries. There is eight uh, 260 watt solar panels on the top. You'll see right there. And uh, <laughs> you can see uh, th this is the inverter. Right there, you have the electrical panel, and you can see here, you have the DC-DC converters. It converts 24 volts and 12 volts because inside the house, uh, it's a 12 volt system. And then those are the two regulator, and we even put a small control panel there. You can see uh, if the batteries are full 
and everything, how much sun uh, there was in the last 60 days and some statistic about it. And there is the same one inside the house. So yeah, and there's still a, a, a bit of storage area. And of course you can lock it with two, two small lock. And that's it for the exterior. Let's go inside. So when you come in this house, uh, this is the lobby. You can see there is the stairs to go up. And one thing I wanted to talk about is the, uh, the electronic dock door you can see there. It's the first time we installed it. And of course it was because our customer wanted it. They have a small dog. They wanted it to have a luxurious life. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, the, it's a sure flap. I love this word so much, sure flap. How it works is very simple. Uh, the dog has an electronic device on his necklace. When he comes near the door, the door unlocks. Uh, it's a three-quarter window. Uh, you can still open it. And we put on this house, uh, the customer choose the option of the solar blanket. You can close it and you can still see the light, but they, they can't see you from the outside. Those are pretty great. There is those uh, solar blanket in, uh, on every window on this house. And there is a small place to put your coats and everything. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about the, the living room area. Our customer really wanted, that was kind of their priorities, they wanted to have a kitchen in, on one side of the house and uh, a living room in the middle of the house. This is a, a part of the couch from the Sakura. We put it there just because we wanted to show you how it looks, but the customer, they already have their two places couch, it's designed to go there. And uh, here, the customer is gonna put a, a 60 inch flat screen. We still have the, the cable uh, underneath and then you can plug the TV with the HDMI right there. Now, I'm gonna talk about the stairs. Once again, we're very, very proud about those stairs. Uh, you know my style. Uh, this is um, our second stairs. Uh, we pretty much inspire ourselves with uh, the one we built on the shine design. Those are real uh, oak steps and you can see there is still some storage in it. Uh, our customer wanted to have an end rail on the exterior side. So we designed uh, a black pipe end rail. Uh, I love it, I love it. And of course, I feel like it's more sicker when I go up and down and like even if I'm very drunk I may not fall of these stairs <laughs> so uh, here uh, one of the complexity about it was uh, we have to incorporate the heating system even if it's a house for California we even we put a um, propane heater it's a 16,000 BTU I'm gonna open everything just to show you how much storage there is and here we have so three little very cute dryers full dryers there and there's kind of a lot of storage in it and uh, on, another thing we did in this one uh, there is kind of a hole inside the loft uh, to incorporate the stairs I really like how it came out because the way it's designed, it gives kind of a volume to this area and the way it looks, it's very, I think it's very, very beautiful. Um, and it's a nice uh, solution to, uh, to give a, a bigger loft, even if the stairs are kind of in the loft. So uh, it's probably not the last time we do it. Now I'm gonna go in the kitchen. Here we are in this uh, beautiful kitchen. Uh, it's the most beautiful one and the most complex we did uh, because of a couple of elements there is. There is some, this is the first time we put some tiles in a, a tiny house kitchen. Uh, so it gives another look and this is still an off-grid kitchen. So uh, we had to put uh, a 12 volt fridge. So here we have a 24 inch uh, full propane stove and stainless. Here we have uh, stainless, a big stainless sink. On the other side you can see the first dishwasher we installed in a tiny house. 
Uh, this is an 18 inch. Uh, it's a very small one, but it's very efficient. And uh, I tested it and I couldn't hear a sound. It's very not noisy and noisy. And I don't know how to say it, sorry. And what else, what else? We have lots of storage. Our customer really liked to cook, so she really wanted to have this U-shaped kitchen. Our designer, Caroline, did an awesome job on the design and the decoration. Thank you, Caroline, very good job. And all those, this is all custom. This is still not a IKEA kitchen. Uh, here we have uh, four drawers. We have the corner storage. No wasted space, even in the corner. Here we have lots of storage too. And then I'm gonna show you guys the pantry. So this is a very big pantry too. Uh, we did this one in the Acacia too. Uh, and love it it's awesome here some storage and this very big uh, 12 volt fridge with this one it was very hard to find but uh, we found it and it looks pretty and we have still the drawers underneath here so yes and this is uh, a bamboo countertop and this is uh, there, there is still some seats there cedar shelving i love it so much here we are in the smallest bathroom we did uh, but there is still everything in it uh, there is still uh, this is the the combo wa washer dryer area so here we have a lot of storage on top of it and a small dryer underneath it uh, here we have our minimalist style small cabinet for the uh, bathroom sink with still a bamboo countertop. We have again this uh, nature head composting toilet, some red sea door shelving, and then uh, a window. So uh, even if there is a, an exhaust fan, we put a, a window in this one and then uh, we have a very big stainless steel shower again, so I uh, still I'm six feet two and Even for me. It's a pretty big one uh, this the ceiling is six feet eight and this ceiling is uh, With a uh, white cedar. It's our second try at first the ceiling was uh, like the one in the in the kitchen But we didn't like it so much. We wanted to put another design aspect in this uh, bathroom so we changed it and we put some cedar and I love cedar so much you know me so um, this is uh, the master bedroom um, there is uh, a queen size bed up there and we put uh, some storage on the corner there and this is a 12 volt USB uh, output. I put that there because I know a lot of people make their uh, iPhone and their cell phone charge uh, during the night. And the thing is, with this system, there is uh, the inverter, right? If you want some 110 power, you have to open the inverter. So everything working on the 110 volt, like uh, washer dryer, dishwasher, um, the TV uh, when you have to, when you use those items you have to open the inverter but during the night you can still close the inverter so you make sure you don't take too much batteries the thing is the the fridge is on 12 volts so it just uh, the power it just take the power of the battery it doesn't need uh, the inverter to works so here we have a USB plug you can use uh, to charge your iPhone even if uh, the inverter is closed and it's pretty useful this is i think this is the most uh, efficient solar system you can do uh, because the inverter the thing is you need to find a way to close uh, the inverter sometimes because it's kind of a big machine 
and it takes a lot of energy just to work. So every time you can close it, it's good. So the customer, like they can close it during the night and they can close it and when they leave the house. So um, you can make sure the, the batteries stay full, uh, almost full. All right, so uh, this is kind of a reading loft, but it is most gonna be used for storage. But still we have um, this custom C-door uh, ladder. You hook there. And then uh, we put a, a, a rail, a security rail on it. And uh, it was a lot of work. I did it myself. So everything I do myself, I'm gonna talk it a little uh, too much <laughs> now. We have a very comfy, it's kind of a couch, a flat couch, and there is, you can use it as a bed, and it's like, what else, what I can do with it? Get, I put, I can make a very uh, comfy one person bed, or if I wanna, I can choose how much, how much I want it to be down. And it's a very, very nice place with a small window uh, to read a book or anything. So, yeah, and you have, a, once again, this nice view on the tiny house. So here, if you were asking yourself what's going on in this uh, big hole in there, this is the dining table uh, slash desk. The customer already have it and uh, it's designed for the, I'm pretty sure you know this table, it's Nike table. Uh, it kind of opens up on both sides and uh, there is a lot of tiny house with this uh, table in it. So it's designed for this and uh, there is still a light there for the table. That's pretty much it for the, this video tour. I hope you guys liked it. Um, I, I still want, I want to thank you guys uh, because uh, there is so much support and so much good comments. It helps us a lot. A lot of people discovered us uh, with the last uh, two videos we did. We're very happy about it. So we're, we're gonna keep uh, sending you all the video tour we have. We'll try to do video tour on every tiny house we, uh, we build. There was a lot of comments in the last video, in the two last video, about if we deliver in the uh, in, uh, United States. And yes, we deliver almost everywhere. This one is for California. The next one we're building is for a customer in North Carolina. So yes, uh, we still take some orders. If you want to follow us, uh, we're pretty much on Facebook and Instagram. So we're gonna put the link. We're more on that than our website. We still have a website. There is pretty much all the information on it, but uh, on the two last designs, the Acacia and the Eucalyptus, uh, I still didn't have the time to do the webpage because I'm pretty much doing it myself. Uh, we're, if we didn't know, we're, we're still a very small team. We're only seven employees. So we do our best to, uh, to satisfy everyone. But uh, thank you for your comprehension. We have a lot of uh, emails uh, every day from everywhere around the world. So we're doing our very best to answer it. But uh, we still have to focus on uh, the house uh, already on the waiting list. So uh, thank you guys. Uh, thank you. Have a good day. Goodbye.